name is Michael Freudenberg. This is Film Masters. We're going to be continuing building the apprehension engine. Uh, we're going to be building the sides now. The parts that you'll be need we've already created in the previous tutorial when we've cut them to size. So we're going to be putting the rest of the frame together and getting it ready to finish it off um, and applying a bit of extra parts in the following tutorial. However, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to adjust the framing, making sure it's nice and strong uh, by putting some wooden dowel in there in order to uh, prevent the vibration that will go through uh, your uh, apprehension engine. You don't want any distortion happening when uh, your strings and your hurdy-gurdies playing and so forth. So when you're doing the recording. So without any more wait, let's get straight into the tutorial. So we're going to be taking the other parts in which we created in the previous tutorial and we're going to strengthen them. I'm going to do that by simply using a piece of wooden dowel. Now you can see there's a bit of slack in them. So we're going to strengthen them. It's going to stop the vibrations going through the actual frame of the apprehension engine. So you can put nails in them by themselves with glue, but using a wooden dowel is going to allow any vibrations through the frame to not distort. And that's what we want. So I'm gonna show you how to install these. Now, what I'm gonna do is gonna be the depth of the actual piece of wood times two. So what I mean is it's gonna be in the center when we're drilling it in between the two nails, but it's gonna go the measurement of the depth into the second piece of wood. So I'm just marking up where I'm going to drill it. And as you can see, I'm going to use a drill that is the same thickness, not, not larger, but the same thickness so that it goes in firmly when I knock it in. And you can see I've put a mark in there showing you the twice depthness of the piece of material that you're using. So what it's going to do, it's going to allow the vibration uh, to disappear in the frame. So I'm going to mark on my drill with a black Nico, or um, we call them Nikos in Australia. I think they call them fat textures in America. Could be wrong, please correct me in the comments. Um, and as you can see, when I turn it on, you can see where the black mark is, and that's going to be our depth indicator. So it's gonna allow us to drill no deeper. So on the piece of wood, I'm going to dot and mark where I'm going to put the drill, and then I'm gonna drill down to the right depth, which we've marked on the drill. So I'm going to go straight down through the wood and you can see the black line appearing and there we go. And all I need to do now is clean all the material off um, and I'm going to use some PVC uh, wood glue. Now you can use other glue, but I like to use the wood glue. It is nice and strong. I'm going to fill the hole up. I'm going to get the wooden piece of dowel and using a mallet. Uh, now a mallet uh, could be uh, just a small hammer or um, a block of wood and just gently tap in that piece of down. As you can see, there's a little bit of glue coming out through the seam, um, but it's actually going to strengthen that frame. And once we've done that, we're gonna clean up, obviously, anything that's coming out of it, so any glue. Um, it's a good idea to use a wet rag instead of your finger, but if you wanna use your finger, go for it. And then just use a saw just to trim nice and slowly uh, the piece of dowel off the top like so, and then using a sander or um, a sandpaper, um, get it nice and flush. So again, this is going to help with the vibration uh, that you can get through the frame. And uh, one thing we don't want is that distortion going through. We just want to hear what we're actually creating with the sound instruments on it. Um, and as you can see, I've made it nice and flush and it's straight through. It's going to allow our piece to be nice and firm when it dries. And as you can see, there's no give on the piece as well. So it makes it nice and stable. So we're going to do that to both of those pieces, as you can see. Now, the next thing, now the original front, that's part three. We need to adjust the size of it. So I made it originally 20 centimeters, um, but it actually needs to be cut down to 15. So we're gonna mark it down on 15. As you can see, it's just shy of six inches. Now the reason I made it 20 centimeters originally is because when we're cutting it off at 15 centimeters, it's going to give us a part that we're going to use to help strengthen the frame. So using the measuring of a tape measure or a ruler or rule, we're going to make the measurement 15 centimeters on the front, which is part three. And we're going to not throw those pieces away. Uh, we're going to use them. So I'm going to use a square now just to make sure that it is correct 15 centimeters across both pieces. And that's going to obviously make it so it's nice and flush. And these parts here, which I've put the cross onto, is what we're going to save because we're going to move them 
eventually to the back. So let's make a cut here. I'm gonna use a block of wood to help just keep it nice and square. And um, obviously I'm going to speed up some of this um, because you don't need to see me cutting the piece of wood. Uh, you've seen that enough in these tutorials. And we're going to make the cut to both of the front. So we're going to make sure it's 15 centimeters and keep this small block of wood, which should be around about five centimeters. And that's gonna be used to help strengthen our frame. So again, I'm going to use and cut both of those front pieces to that measurement. Now what I'm going to end up with is obviously two pieces, which are no longer 20 centimeters, they're now 15 centimeters, nice and flush, as you can see. Now with those two pieces of timber that we've cut off it, the excess, uh, we're going to use those, obviously, um, at the back of this. And I'll show you, I'm just gonna mark up 15 centimeters here, just so you know that is 15 centimeters, which is again, just shy of six inches. And using these two parts, I'm going to put them and I'll show you where they'll go. So you'll need to uh, nail them on the back. They're gonna sit with the X down right up against the edge like so. And that is where we're going to secure them. Now this is going to allow our frame to have nice strength and uh, is obviously going to assist us with the vibration as well. So I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna mark that up. All I'm gonna use, I'm going to uh, use the block of wood and make sure it's nice and flush at the very end um, of the uh, piece of wood, as you can see. And I'm just gonna use a pen just to mark where it's going to sit. And uh, that's where we're going to glue it and nail it and uh, also put a piece of wooden dowel. So again, with all these joints from now on, get a nice piece of wooden dowel. Um, the ones I'm using are very thin and I'm using them from a uh, hobby store. However, the hardware can supply you with uh, wooden dowel, different thicknesses, obviously. Now you don't want it too thick. You just want a nice thin one. So the thinner, the better, which is why I've used the ones from the hobby store. And again, so I've just, screwed it in, glued it in, and now I'm gonna use my drill uh, to put my wooden dowel in there uh, just to strengthen that piece and allow it uh, to uh, assist in uh, preventing vibration, vibrating through the actual frame of the apprehension engine. So I'm putting glue in there, and again, using a wooden ma mallet um, or a hammer or another uh, anything that you can use uh, to gently tap the piece of wood in. Now, instead of putting glue in the hole, you can put glue in on the wooden dowel like I've just showed you. And gently tapping it in uh, is going to go all the way in until it's nice and secure. Don't hit it too hard. We don't wanna knock the block of wood out the other end. And again, uh, clean up any excess glue. We don't want any glue running off. So clean it up. I'm using a uh, moist uh, rag. So it's just a rag or I'm using an old towel with a bit of uh, water on it. Um, and I'm just going to cut that piece of dowel um, and sand it back. Now you can use a obviously hand sander or if you've got a electric sander, which I have, uh, use that. Uh, that's gonna speed up your workflow as well. So what we wanna do is make sure that wooden piece of dowel is nice and flush uh, with our piece of wood. So I'm just gonna hold the piece of wood up to show you where it's actually gonna sit on our base. And as you can see, uh, we've now got it cut to 15 centimeters and we are ready to move on to the next step. Now that is the frame. We're getting close to getting the frame all finished. And then we're gonna be putting in some other parts, obviously that's gonna finish the rest of the framing off, getting ready to skin it. Um, and also coming up in the next couple of tutorials, I'll be showing you how to build the hurdy-gurdy wheel, which is that wheel that allows us to uh, crank it, giving us that nice string drone uh, that we're gonna get from this sound device. So if you wanna become a Film Master Subby, it's pretty simple. Subscribe to the channel. You can like me on Facebook and or on Twitter. And until next time, don't just film it, master it.